Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. H TV with Kendria, and I'm excited to be back with another video with you guys today. I have a haul from Ulta and Sephora. Anyway, I went to Ulta today and also Sephora to get I only came I only went to Sephora to get one thing and I totally forgot. They were like, Oh, you get your free birthday gift today. I was like, Oh yeah, I forgot my birthday's in like ten days. Anyway, um today is March seventh. My birthday is March seventeenth. So we got ten days to get my skin together because it's looking pretty bad right now. Um I only got a few things from the ordinary. I'll I'll show you guys what I have, but I have a few things from the ordinary. I bought a new moisturizer for my face and I bought a new facial wash. So I don't know if you guys know about LA the LA beautyologist, but if you watch her on YouTube, she basically whatever you have going on with your skincare, sis. She's going to ruin your whole entire skincare routine. Like, you'll think you have something great going on with your skincare routine. You got something going on good. She's going to trash every single thing that you use. And she pretty much trashed my facial wash and she trashed the ordinary. But I don't care about the ordinary kind of thing because I love the ordinary. It's worked for me. But anyway, LA Beauty Allergist, she's another YouTuber that I really watch. And I love her YouTube videos because she's very helpful in the skincare community. But anyway, I have um, combination skin, so like my face gets really oily in the T area, but it's dry everywhere, everywhere else. Like, I don't know if you can see it, um, but yeah, I have like a lot of like little small bumps on my face, heat bumps, I have dark marks on my forehead from like middle school. But other than that, I don't really have problems with breakouts unless it's time for me like to wash my hair or wash my sheets or something like that, or if like how in the past week i've been doing i just been ignoring my skincare routine i just didn't do it because i was stressed about physics but that's another entire video that i have to make physics at lsu personally victimized me like i would rather take 10 chemistry classes over one physics class and you don't even use physics in the medical field well it depends but you know you really don't but um yeah, th that's 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 what my life has been about. It's been consumed by physics. Anybody coming to LSU or anyone pre-med anywhere, I'm letting y'all know. Physics, whole nother ball game out there. Anyway, let's get into the video. I'm gonna go, I went off on a tangent. Let's, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. My first bag is from Ulta. This is my, the things that I bought. Um, Usually I, um, I already use the squalene cleanser this stuff from the ordinary this is like an oil cleanser and um i really like it i used it all and i ran out so this is something that um i already had once before and i bought it and i just ran i just ran out of it this, the squalene cleanser squalene whatever however you say it um it's only 790 that's another thing I like about The Ordinary. Their products are really inexpensive and you can buy a lot and you won't be spending a lot of money instead of like spending like $100 on Tatcha and uh, getting two products. I can't do it. I went and looked at it today and Sephora, I was like, yeah, it's tempting, but like, is it really worth it? So try The Ordinary first. Um, they're really inexpensive, but you do have to read up on their products because everything is very ingredient based in this like ingredient focus like you don't even see like on the packaging you don't even see like what it really does it's like you just see like it says squalene cleanser like like who knows what that is no one knows what that is but when you look on the side they give you like a they give you like a explanation of what it is it basically it cleanses the surface removes makeup and supports surface hydration and basically oil cleansing it really helps bring like the oil out of your face so like oil and oil mixing oil and oil together brings it like surfaces it up to your skin and it just it helps a lot on like the way that your skin looks and what i use after that after the squalene cleanser was cetaphil and la beautyologist was like nah i was like dang 
I've been using Cetaphil and CeraVe for so long. He uses Dermalogical. And Dermalogical is, this was like $13 for this one small thing. And it's more expensive than that. It gets more expensive than that. But they don't sell it in stores. It's only sold online, I believe, on, Derm on the Sephora website. I don't know. But um, I'm trying this out. LA Beautyologist uses this. She uses their facial cleansers. She uses a lot of their products. If you watch her YouTube video and you look at her skincare routine, um, I just want to go ahead and try this because she she recommends it. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and watch, uh, try this and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. Uh, oil cleanser. It's like a regular facing, like soap, soapy one. So, uh, oh, it's actually foaming. Hmm. Okay. Special cleansing gel. Okay. That is what I got from Sephora. Um, I also got this from Sephora. It was my free birthday gift. So I got, girl, I got two. two. It's basically two free things in one because you get like this, these really cute. They smell good too. You get these really cute um, little hand um, body creams. Um, the next thing I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to show you guys what I bought. I'm kind of going in the order that I would usually wear them. Um, actually, I've never used a toner before, but I bought a, I bought the Ordinary's toner. I'm I know people you're people probably watching this like you've never used a toner before. I thought that it was gonna burn my skin off, so I didn't wear, wear toners ever. Um, I I don't know when when do you use toners? It says after cleaning saturate a cotton pad with the formula and sweep across face and neck it says it says it visually visib visibly targets textural irregularities and black cluster tone sound like my kind of gal i'll let you guys know how i feel about this it was only how much was this toner the toning solution was only 870 that's not bad for a toner i guess i don't know i've never really bought one before but um I just wanted to start off cheap for the first time that I used toner. I didn't want to like go buy an expensive toner and not know really what, if it's working for me or anything like that. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm scared because I've never used a toner in my life. The next thing that I have is the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA, which is hyaluronic acid. It's a serum. I've never used a serum on my face before. It says to use it, um, it says to use it in the morning and at night. I don't know if I would use it in the morning and at night, but I mean, we're gonna try it at night first and maybe I'll switch over today and then like, I don't know. But it visibly targets hyperpigmentation and dark marks. I have a lot of dark marks on my face. So I hope and pray, I'm praying that this product works on my face. I'm praying literally like in my head right now, I'm praying that this works because I, that is really the main thing that I have a problem with with all my skin. So I'm just praying that this works. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot to buy niacinamide. I've been using the niacinamide from The Ordinary for a couple of months now. Um, I don't really know what, if it really works on my face compared to stuff. Because like, but I think it does contribute to it because I use niacinamide. And the next thing that I have is... um what I use as well, but I ran out and I bought some new stuff today. Um, let me go ahead. Now that I think about it, I don't think they had this. I think that they were out, so I'm kind of screwed. I barely have any left. <laughs> it's way down here. But anyway, I this is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. It says it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So it says to imply, entire apply. I do use it every night, every morning before your heavier creams. I, um, I use this every day. I like this a lot. Um, I think it does help with like, I feel like it helps with like the moisture on my face and stuff like that. And like maybe breakouts. I don't remember exactly what niacinamide does for me, but let me search for you guys. Okay, I'm back and I searched what the niacinamide does from The Ordinary. Um, it says that the benefits are to reduce the appearance of enlarged pores. I think that's what it has done. Um, reduce the appearance of congestion, yeah, and balances the overproduction of oil. 
that helps me a lot i think that's the reason why like my skin doesn't look terribly oily whenever i do my skincare routine oil cleanser it does help with the pores but i ran out so nice and my has been trying to do all the work for me so that's probably why i don't see i don't feel like it's changing anything but it really kind of is i've probably been saying this wrong this entire time but you know what we just gonna keep going with it um so usually i'll do the squalene cleanser then I'll do Cetaphil or CeraVe, which is, we we not gonna we not gonna worry about that no more. Um, so that's what we're gonna replace with the Dermalogica, and then the next thing I would do is um, use niacinamide, I guess maybe, or this next. Um, I mean this first. This is the Alpha Arbutin serum serum that's supposed to help with uh, dark spots and everything like that. Then the uh, niacinamide. This is the ordinary, it says azelaic acid suspension. It says a direct acid, it says multifunctioning brightening formula every night and every morning. I use it every night and every morning, but I use it with the niacinamide and I'm not 100% sure if I would feel comfortable using the hyperpigmentation dark mark serum with this stuff. I have to search if see if it's okay to mix the two and it's for uneven tone dullness and textural irregular irregularities so that it works but i'm scared to use it with the serum because it sounds so strong and then the toning on top of that i'm worried we're gonna see how it works i bought kiehl's it says kiehl's ultra facial cream it's for a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein i hear good things about this stuff i don't know if you guys can see it um no i'm not even gonna tell y'all what i moisturize my face with lotion <laughs> i know that probably sounds crazy but like i've done i've done that forever so that's what i've been doing but i feel like i feel like i just feel like it's wrong I know I was wrong. So I went ahead and bought this stuff. And it was $22. This one small thing was $22. The other um moisturizer that I bought is from The Ordinary. Hydration formula. Apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration. And for really patch tests. I don't know if I'm wrong for that. But I never do that. This is the other moisture. What the heck? Come on. Come on. Show, show it. Show it. Show it. Anyway. This is the uh, moisturizer that another moisturizer that I'm trying. I went ahead and bought this one too. I'm gonna try one of these first, but I'm probably gonna try the cheaper one first because this thing was twenty two dollars. Like, look how big this is, and this thing was only this was only seven seventy. I paid twenty two dollars for this small thing, but I use after moisturizing. I use a sunscreen. And um, I think it, I think I think it's like SPF 50. I don't know. My mom bought it for me. I should show you guys it. Um, SPF 50. I've seen a drastic difference in the way that my skin looks, and I I think it's just due to sunscreen, and it makes my face like even, and it's supposed to help like with dark marks and everything like that. My dermatologist told me about this years ago, and i was like yeah girl whatever like i'm not gonna use no sunscreen but i think it it has been working for my face the ordinary stuff including the facial cream from kiehl's was um 69 dollars and then it was 13 dollars only like 15 bucks with tax for this small little facial cleanser but i'm really excited to try it hopefully i don't get addicted to it and I actually love it because then i have to buy the big version and I'm just used to CeraVe and Cetaphil and it only cost like $10. So the toner, the toner was $8.70. Not bad. Um, the serum for hyper, hyperpigmentation and dark spots was only $8.90. The, the, squalene, clean, the squalene cleanser was $8, so $7.90. The azaleic acid suspension was $7.90. And this facial moisturizer was seven seventy, and um, this Kiehl's facial cream was twenty two dollars. And then lastly, I have the Dermalogica, which was thirteen fifteen dollars with tax. And then I got my freak stuff. Your skin is gonna thank you when you take care of it. So I would recommend the Ordinary to everybody. And my skin 
has changed drastically since I've actually started taking skincare seriously. This is the end of this video. If you like my videos, subscribe and comment and like. If you guys have anything, any suggestions on videos that I should shoot, any questions that you have for me, don't forget to comment. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys. Bye.